Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs. Today's video is brought to you by Verminosis Records, who put out Bindolf in the Eternal Shadows, killer medieval black metal from Chile with some dungeon synth vibes. Dark medieval black metal from the cold forest to the dark dungeons where eternal darkness reigns. Some really good stuff from Count Vindolf. And this was obviously written, performed, recorded, and mixed in the Eternal Shadows. Great layout as always. You should come to expect that from a Verminosis release. Very George R.R. Tolkien uh, inspired lyrics if I read correctly. I just know that it's just a very grim listen and it kind of reminds me of like when I first heard black metal like back in the 90s and kind of not really knowing like what like what it even really was like because you know I, I had heard like Celtic Frost and all that but like hearing you know like especially early emperor i was really drawn towards but like there was just something about it that was very refreshing i mean because to deny it all you want there are a lot of similarities between hardcore and death metal there just are it's the way it is same thing with thrash metal but with black metal it was like Taking death metal, but taking away, like, some of the fancy, like, the fancier production, depending on what band you're listening to, kind of stripping away, like, layers of unnecessary bullshit and getting down to just, like, the riffs, the drumming synthesizer usage when done properly and I'm a sucker for low-fi sounding minimalistic synthesizer usage now don't get me wrong I love like progressive synth use like zombie for example Steve Moore I think is a fucking genius along with A.E. Pantera like those two together, if you've ever seen Zombie Live, it's ridiculous. I've never seen someone play bass and, like, still be killing it. Like, on, dude, it, it's just, you need to see Zombie Live and watch them play o Orion. Like, it's mind-boggling. But Vindolf is a solo act here, and this is a full length, and I kind of noticed... Like, this is a straight-up, like, dungeon. This is dungeon synth. Like, and it's really good. Hell yeah. start snowing in my room. And that's the thing again about like black metal that has dungeon synth you know influences. It just adds so much atmosphere to the music. And like especially if it's already like lo-fi like Vindolf definitely really you know i 
was looking at their band camp and he has a pretty extensive discography and this seems to be a reissue I'm not entirely sure how it all works I didn't really look too much into it but obviously like Vindolf definitely listened to the first like two furs on the records I would say and enjoyed them and you can definitely hear it with uh, In the Eternal Shadows, just that, like, Lord of the Rings, Dungeons and Dragons kind of background music in between, like, the black metal and everything, if you get what I'm saying. Like, if you were to be playing a tabletop game, this would be a really, really good album to have playing during your campaign like dead serious it's you know don't yeah it's nerdy i don't give a shit but like it's really really good and like coming from chile like just it's really grim i'm really surprised like how grim it is but then again, like, aren't, like, the Andes Mountains in, like, Chile? I, I forget. I know they're in South America, but that's, like, all I really know about, the, like, the mountains. But I'm positive there's, like, you know, I think Chile has, like, ocean, mountains, jungle. I think they have everything. But I'm not positive. I don't know m much about the country. But when it comes to Verminosis Records, I mean, they put out, like, the Accursed Womb demo compilation. And I'm not being biased when I say, you know, like, it's really good. Like, it kind of, you know, when it comes to black metal, I'm kind of a sucker for, you know, that kind of medieval dungeon synthy sound when done right and hey guess what Vindolf do extremely well play medieval sounding black metal with dungeon synth like influence and it's just done extremely well very very 90s Scandinavian sounding Like, the dungeon synth, like, aspects really, really remind me of, like, the Mortise demo. Like, it's that good. And, like, the black metals is just some real straight up, just, you know, cold, icy, George, I meant, I almost said George R. R. Martin. I mean, hey, maybe, but, uh more J.R.R. Tolkien inspired black metal because like I was just looking at the one song title and it's named there's a dungeon synth band um Bangorium they're really really awesome and like Bangorium I said it wrong it's just super just good and I if you follow the Patreon, you know about them already, but otherwise, I suggest checking out Vindolf in the Eternal Shadows, and I got some new sneakers. We'll take a look at some nice plain white band slip-ons. Cole got a pair of checkered bands. And uh, I've just been telling him, because he's been getting a lot more into, like, riding his bike and shit. Like, I was just telling him, I'm like, look, like, I know you like slip-on shoes. Vans make really good slip-ons to ride bikes in. And also, they're comfortable. And I think you'll like them. They have a lot of, like, cool designs and stuff. And he ended up getting a pair of checkered vans and stuff. But, uh... He's, like, all stoked. He's like, yeah, I got my first pair of Vans. It's just like, 
hell yeah. I put a smile on my face. And then I put some black metal on and I turn that smile upside down, but in the best way possible. And again, as always, Verminosis killing it when it comes to the cassette cosmetics. There's Count Vindolf holding his mighty magical sword. I don't know if this was a misprint or not, but the B-side is just blank, but who cares, because that's awesome. It's just right there, it's all you need. The inside's really, really cool, like dark medieval black metal. Also, like, obviously, if you like early Satyricon, like up to Nemesis Davidia, I'd say there's something for you to like on here. That's what I mean. It's a very 90s sounding black metal slash dungeon synth release. It's a great, great hybrid of the two genres together in a working environment that doesn't feel forced. And that's something that is extremely hard to do is, you know, stand out when it comes to not only just like black metal you know like a band such as or should i say an act such as holder you know that had in like spectral wound that kind of had like you know when they play a show like same with like spite you know like i'm a big like Phelpson went out of his way to you know give me some hails here and I just thought that was fucking sick. But, like, you know, when it comes to U.S. black metal, especially, like, I feel like it's a big deal when bands like Pan American, Native Front, and, like, Spite play, like, shows and stuff. And, like, I mean, like, even, like, Eduardo and stuff and Black Twilight Circle, like, I mean, yeah, I got hit with a with the copyright strike but thankfully he and i had a really good conversation he fixed the copyright strike and also i'm not even joking a lot of people would have lost their entire youtube channel the entire metal youtube community legitimately would have been in trouble if I or someone else wouldn't have stepped in. If you had filmed anything like Black Twilight Circle related, you got hit with a copyright strike, and you know that shit is dead serious. Like you, you lose like you can, you can lose everything. But like, you know. I under I understood completely, but like all he had to do was like just email me and say, "Hey, can you take uh that um live song down?" Like that was the thing; it was like a live song from like a couple of years ago. But he he really made it up. Like he signed like a poster. I mean, there was no other way I was gonna get these on tape. Like holy shit, yeah. Because I don't have the new Volhan on vinyl either, so I have it on cassette. I don't even think this is, it, this, I think this is the newest was, uh, but this is the first press, limited to 100 copies. And same with the uh, Blue Hummingbird on the left, first press, limited to 100 copies. But, um, I just always thought it was, like, very interesting, like, when one person black metal projects become a live entity because sometimes black metal doesn't really go over too well in a live setting and sometimes it's kind of silly i've seen some bands where like legitimately i'm um, like trying not to laugh like openly by how silly the stage faces are like, don't get me wrong, I love, like, King Diamond and stuff, but, like, that's, he's allowed to do that shit. But, like, sometimes you'll just see, like, some local band, and they'll all be, like, 
you know, doing these like silly faces, like they're like possessed demons, and it's it's funny, you know, and it's fun. It's black metal, but then like you see a serious black metal band, and it's like, okay, like these guys are fucking gnarly. <laughs> like I remember seeing Demon Sea, and it just being like gnarly though like but they had Cura Fragrium as like their backing band so yeah it was even more like intimidating and shit but like yeah I've seen a lot of like especially Bestial Black Death bands where it's like I would never fight that guy that guy would just destroy me in one punch like even Scott, like Scott from Antichrist Siege Machine, like the drummer, dude, Scott's like the nicest person, but I would never, ever, 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 ever want to get on his bad side. Because he's just a monster. And uh, he's, just, he's just super sick. But, um, yeah. When it comes to Vindolf and in the eternal shadows if you're a fan of dark medieval black metal and dungeon synth check it out you're going to absolutely love this from chile on verminosis records who released my bands american demo compilation and uh we have pins and a cd version of crown of piss coming out in a couple days but uh if you want our cd you need to hit up the record label we are sold out you need to hit up vaquero blast productions just go to um you know what just uh email at a cur um a cursed womb at gmail dot com if you are interested in getting a CD of the demo compilation because these are dead sold out and are not getting reissued. So I'm sorry if you wanted the cassette at it, you're gonna have to probably pay on like Discogs or eBay. Um, this is the European Molten Face version. You might have a yellow version. And you might have a clear version of the Verminosis. But we have new material coming out called Prison Coward. That is the name of the release. And... I'm not saying anything more about it until it comes out. We have the artwork. All that good stuff is done. We have the pins coming in, but that's going to be for the Crown of Piss CD. They're two-inch pins on Corona Yellow. We had to, had to keep it, you know, Corona Yellow. And, uh, yeah, hopefully those drop on next week. Sometime next week. I would like it to be Tuesday, but it all depends when the CDs arrive at the record label. That's when, that's what everything depends on right now. Whenever the record label gets the CDs. Because when I was growing up, release dates were on Tuesdays. I just think it would be nice to bring that back and like release it on a Tuesday but if not and we do still get them next week I would like to do a Friday release but I that's not up to me I mean that's up to everybody else but I would like to personally do a Friday release that's just me again but like I was saying if you're looking for some killer black metal with some dungeon synth parts Definitely get into Vindolf in the Eternal Shadows on Verminosis Records. Killer shit. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails.